Hey everyone, John Moran here with Solutions 8, and today I'm going to be walking you through something that uh, came to us recently as a question. Uh, it was actually a new lead that asked us uh, if we have the capability to target to a specific network on a mobile device. And a lot of people don't know this, but you actually can. You can actually get some fairly good segmentation about operating system, device, network, etc. You just have to know where to look and know when to look. And what I mean by that is if you're trying to do this by editing an existing campaign, right now you can't edit these features until you create a new campaign. So if you're looking to say, well, I'd like to take my existing campaign and I'd like to like to change it to this, um, unfortunately, there's no way to do it just yet. But you can start a new campaign, you know, kind of copy over your your assets, your ads, possibly DSK, um, that's the display search keywords, um, you know, negative keyword, whatever you need to do, kind of copy and paste that over into this new campaign. But this is how you can actually start to segment by those different operating systems. When would this be useful? Well, let's say you have a app and it's a native um, Android app and you don't want to waste half your ad spend because 51% of the market is owned by Apple and you don't want to waste your ad spend to people that cannot download that, that app on Apple. Or maybe you have a native uh, app for Apple, native app for Android, and you want to segment those audiences and compare the two and make sure that you're sending them to the right landing page. Um, a lot of different use cases. And, or maybe you are maybe you are T-Mobile and you want to... You want to market to everybody who's AT&T and say, come on over, we're better, whatever the case may be. Um, this is how to do that. So let's dive in and get started here. So the first thing that you want to see is it's going to be on outbound type campaigns. So the leads, sales, website traffic, all of these are good. Uh, I'm just going to choose leads for right now. Uh, and you can even do app promotion if you wanted to, but let's just call it leads. And I'm going to choose display. So where this works the best is on outbound campaigns. Search is not available on the insides uh, of the settings. Smart is not because it's pretty much automated. But uh, display, discovery, and uh, video you can. Shopping, unfortunately not. So let's choose display for right now. And in display, we're going to choose a standard display campaign. It defaults to smart display because it says, hey, we're going to do the targeting and segmentation for you, but you know better, so you're going to choose your own. Uh, and then I'm just going to say, you know, google.com uh, as a standard display campaign. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to kind of skip all the, the building here, and I wanted to kind of share with you uh, under the area that you can uh, find this. So uh, actually... I did that kind of quickly. Sorry, let me let me go back uh, and I'm going to select this again. So uh, continue. Oops, no, it defaulted to even Google gets me sometimes. You know, they want they really want those smart campaigns. No standard campaign. Uh, here we go. And uh, under the area of additional settings, they kind of hide it. So additional settings, this may look like just an arrow. We're like, oh, cool. Additional settings are down here, but it's not. It's actually a link. And under additional settings, you'll see devices. And right now it says show on all devices. You're like, yeah, that's okay. Um, but if you wanted to set specific targeting for devices, and this actually goes, it's a little bit misleading. It's a lot more than just devices. I'll share with you what it is. Um, you have your computer, mobile phone, tablets, okay? But then you have operating systems. And you look at an operating system, and now you have Android or Blackberry or Windows Phone or iOS or WebOS. Now you can actually select which ones that you want to, to show to. And then again, on the same page, device models. You can even say, well, give me all the device models under iOS. And then it says, obviously, Apple. What about Android? Well, you got Acer, you got Alcatel, Amazon, Azumi. There's a lot of them here. Uh, there's some I don't even know uh, that even existed, like Casper and like Cat. Cool, like Cat's, cat's one of them. But um, you can get to have all the device models uh, by. Uh, so if you're like, hey, I want to go to Sony Ericsson phones that are running on Android. Perfect. This is, this is how to do that. And then you can say networks. And this is kind of that um, that one that I said, if you're T-Mobile, if you said, I want to target networks in the United States and I'm T-Mobile and I want to go to everyone that's not on T-Mobile. So I'm just going to do everyone uh, except for T-Mobile and I'm going to blast out why T-Mobile is amazing um, and target, obviously, the other carriers. Now, I would love for T-Mobile to get in contact us. I could probably help you with your Google ads, but <laughs> this is just an example. Um, you know, if you had, you know, certain um, offerings or certain you know, unique selling propositions or unique value propositions that are more applicable to a Metro PCS user than it would be on T-Mobile user, whatever your use case may be. Um, you can select those all here. And then once you're done, obviously complete your build out and build your ads and set your daily budgets and all the other st good stuff. But this is a way uh, that you can actually get really granular with your targeting and even do A-B tests. Like if you have an app and it's native on both, run an ad for um, Apple, run an, Apple, uh, an ad for Android and compare the two. And then build it on two separate games, campaigns so you can monitor the uh, daily spend and switch between the two based on performance. So this is uh, this says a lot of use cases. I can sit here and just speculate 
how many of them, but if this applies to you, hopefully you learn something. And uh, hopefully you remember that John Moran Solutions Day taught you. Uh, so please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. I think we're up to like 1,200 subscribers. We get to go live now. Yay, you've been kind of following us for the past like couple months as we've been gaining our subscribers. So uh, this is all thanks to you guys. Thank you so much.